Squad, it's your boy Pino E here, and I'm back with another one. I've got a ton of news to share with you all today, so let's jump right into it. Today we're going to kick things off with New Balance, and a look at the New Balance 24-7 Sport Pack. When New Balance built this silhouette a couple months back, it was designed to be a modern urban lifestyle shoe, but still draw from the classic New Balance quality and craftsmanship. The pairs are built with an engineered mesh upper and neoprene sock construction. The style also features reflective welded end branding, a reflective collar strap and rubber sports tongue. The pack releases on February 4th at select retailers and on newbalance.com for $95 a pair. The Diodora N9000 is one of my favorite sneaker silhouettes and this next one's pretty cool. The Ubik Diodora N9000 Wiz Wit grabs its inspiration from Ubik's hometown of Philadelphia and their love of the Philly cheesesteak. As expected from Diodora, this pair comes constructed in premium materials including micro perforated leather and hairy suede with a speckled midsole. The colorway uses multiple shades of brown and tan to mimic the sandwich's color with additional laces coming in condiment style cups. You'll also find some embossed branding on the heels of the shoe with one side displaying wit and the other wit out which pays homage to Pat's cheesesteaks and whether one wants theirs with or without cheese whiz. The pair drops on January 28th at both Ubik locations in Philly and in Georgetown. Dope pair. So let's move over to ASICS now and first up for the brand we have two pairs of the ASICS gel site which are expected to release later this spring. Both the pairs come constructed in premium suede uppers with perforated toe boxes and tongues with one pair coming in grey tones with pink accenting and the other in brown tones with blue accenting. Nice spring shoes in my opinion, just make sure you stay tuned for the release info. If any of you watch Seinfeld or you still watch it in reruns then you're going to like this next one. In the dinner party episode George wears this huge Gore-Tex jacket and he talks about how scary cold it's getting out there and that's where the inspiration for the Packer Shoes Asics Gel Light 5 comes from. Now all we have is this teaser pic that was released by Packer Shoes earlier today so stay tuned for more info. Let's move over to Adidas and we got a ton of news from them today and we're going to start things off with the Adidas NMD City Sock Gum Pack. I believe I showed you all a first look a couple weeks back and it's not a bad looking pack. The pairs come in either white or black prime knit uppers with matching EVA inserts, a white boost mid and gum bottoms and today we have a release date for you all. They both drop on February 4th with a retail price of $180 each. I actually don't mind these, they're simple colorways and you can really wear them with anything. If you're not a fan of the City Sock model but you want a gum pack then Adidas has you covered as well with the Adidas NMD R1 Prime Knit Gum Pack. Again we have two pairs of the NMD R1 in either a black or white Prime Knit upper with both pairs consisting of white EVA inserts, a full white boost mid and a gum bottom. These two drop on February 4th and the retail on these is set at $170. Now if you've been keeping track the last few weeks you know Adidas is getting ready to release another huge drop on February 1st and the 4th. I don't have the exact count but off the top of my head I can think of about 12 pairs. I'll make sure to drop a video reminder on those soon. This next pair up on screen is awful. There's not one thing about them I like and I actually hate myself right now for even talking about these but what you're looking at are the sneakers and stuff Adidas NMD R1 Prime Knit. The upper on this pair is covered in the glitch camel which I don't mind but the colors making it up they're just not my cup of tea. There's no exact date for these but if for some reason you actually like them then stay tuned and I'll keep you updated and the retail for these will be $170. Next up we got another reigning champ Adidas Ultra Boost but this time in a white and grey prime knit upper featuring a leather cage, leather heel counter, a 3M reflective tongue and it all sits on a white boost mid and outsole. There's no word yet on a release date for these but they are expected sometime this spring or summer. You didn't think I was done with Adidas yet did you? Nope. And next up we got a brand new Adidas NMD R1 Prime Knit in Shock Pink. The upper on this pair comes in core black with grey detailing which sits on a full white boost mid with black and pink EVA inserts and a black outsole. This pair is also dropping this spring and retail set at $170. More Adidas and what we have up on screen now is the Adidas XR1 OG. You get what they're doing here, the NMD R1 OG, it was a hit, people still want that pair and shortly after a restock they're going to be releasing the OG colorway on the XR1 model. You know when you think about it, it really is a smart move by Adidas but I'm good. 
There's no word yet on a release date, so stay tuned for that. Woohoo! We finally made it to the end of Adidas, and what we have here are the Adidas Y3 Yoji Run Boost. We actually have two pairs of the model, in a white and black, and I actually think that that white pair is a dope clean colorway for the coming summer months. Both pairs are built with mesh uppers, with the white pair sporting two white stripes and a black stripe, and the black pair three white stripes, and finishing the look off is a giant Y3 on the heels. If you like them, they're actually available now at select retailers like sneakers and stuff. Let's move over to Nike, and first up for the swoosh, we have the Nike Sock Dart coming in Metro Grey. This woman's exclusive pair comes dressed in a Metro Grey upper and features a woven upper with a transparent toe guard and midfoot strap. Completing the look is a clean white sock liner and matching mid sitting on a black outsole. You can look for these to drop soon on Nike.com for $130. Next for Nike, we have the Nike Air Max 90 Flyknit Infrared. For some reason, these have been getting a lot of hate over on Instagram, but I couldn't care less because I'm copying. And I mean, that's what it's about, right? Buy what you like. If you're wondering why I'm talking about this shoe again, it's because I have a release date of March 3rd. Now take note that on the 3rd, they will be releasing internationally, and I haven't yet confirmed if North America will have the same date or not. So stay tuned for that. And over to Jordan Brand, and for the last piece of news for today, we have the Air Jordan 13 OG Chicago. The pair comes constructed in a white tumbled leather upper that runs up the tongue and on the side paneling. Red accenting surrounds the ankle hologram as well as finding its way down to the midsole. And finishing off the look are black details on the outsole and on the branded tongue as well. The release is coming up soon, look for them to drop on February 18th for $190. And that does it for today everyone. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe, join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out.